uh, Bitcoin turned bloody on Wednesday following the announcement of interest rates by the uh, Federal Open Market Committee and remarks by Fed Chair Jerome Powell on the expected rate cuts in 2024. Forced to put up with the disappointing news, some investors reacted by selling BTC, resulting in a drop below $43,000. According to Powell, the FOMC meeting did not conclude and rates too anticipate a rate cut in March. And I don't think it's likely that that the committee will reach a level of confidence by the time of, of the March meeting to identify March as the time to cover uh, by politician. Uh, we've made um, Powell gives a hard shove against a March cut. I don't think it's likely that the committee will reach a level of confidence by the time of the March meeting to identify March as the time to cut, but that's to be seen. But against Nick Timireo's January 31st, 2024, uh, Bitcoin and other risky investments took a beating after the speech, suggesting investors grew less optimistic. Interestingly, even the news of the Federal Reserve keeping interest rates steady uh, at 5% to 5%, negative 5% to their, in their first meeting of the year uh, couldn't stop uh, the, the sell-off. But in light of the many rate hikes seen since 2022, it had become apparent that unchanged rates meant a better outlook for Bitcoin and crypto. However, this time, market as participants focused on when they can expect the first rate cut, considering Powell anticipated at least three cuts in 2024 during the previous FOMC meeting. Uh, the market could have gotten ahead of itself on the rate side, according to the co-founder of Asgard Markets, Alex Kruger. Uh, however, uh, as for Bitcoin, this might prove to be a temporary setback, uh, especially now that fresh optimism is starting to build ahead of a uh, pre-having uh, rally. Uh, every four years, Bitcoin undergoes a cycle engraved in its code, which reduces minor rewards by half. Following the previous halving in 2020, Bitcoin priced parabolically to $69,000. For ardent crypto investors, this correction is a time to accumulate more BTC before the next leg up. Rex Capital, a crypto trader, an analyst reinforced this insight using chart posted on X. And Demister and Percent, the way they're seen is out of them because there's something that you need. And this cycle has been a story of reaccumulation ranges. Um, heading into the halving BTC crypto, uh, Bitcoin uh, uh, wrecked capital January 31st, 2024. In the meantime, Bitcoin is back to trading above confluence support of around $42,208 formed by the 50 exponential moving average and the 200 EMA. A daily close is required above the 20 EMA, currently the immediate resistance. If confidence in the uptrend grows, encouraging more traders to take up long positions in BTC, the price could peak above $44,000 before or during the weekend. Over 40 cryptocurrency and fintech specialists consulted by Finder.com predicted Bitcoin could rise to $88,000 in 2024. According to a press release accompanying the report, following the climber to $88,000, a drop to $77,000 would materialize ahead of another major run to $123,000 in 2025 and $367,000 in 2030. Most experts agree that having will be the biggest catalyst. For the bull run, Vettelundi, senior analyst at K33 Research, opined that the having easing macro conditions and enhanced access to ETFs are fundamentally positive price forces for the year as a whole. Uh, in the medium term, Bitcoin price may continue range bound between support at $38,000 and resistance at $48,000, allowing for reaccumulation in preparation for the rally. Uh, will Sui price hit new all-time high in February amid TVL expansion? Uh, Dogecoin price to pump uh, to $1. Uh, in February, if network activity keeps surging, uh, in top three altcoins to buy today. January 31, Ethereum, XRP, Dogecoin,